guys, and this is the review for the Spirit Animal Oracle deck. It is by Colette Baron Reed. I'm gonna go ahead and open this box. I just got it today and I am pretty excited to see what I think about it, okay? Okay, so it looks like the box opens like this. So there is a little magnet here on the side. Okay, and it says, the spirits residing in the natural world have much to share and the secrets of their forgotten language are now available to you. That's pretty cool, I like that. Okay, so it's got a little ribbon here with the book. And it's a pretty hefty little book here. The book is about five inches by three and a half. And it's about, I would say, a little over half an inch thick. Okay. And it looks like it does have little images of each card and its description of each card. So that's pretty cool. A typical Oracle deck. Um, the book feels like it's really good quality. And here are the cards. Okay, the cards feel like they're not too glossy. They don't feel glossy at all, actually. I think they're matte paper, but it's good card stock. So if you like more of the matte, which I don't mind, then you would like this deck. So this is the back. And let me go ahead and do the flip through. The first one here. Ant spirit, time to collaborate. Number one. Number two, antelope spirit. Number three, armadillo spirit. Number four, badger spirit. Number five, bat spirit. So, I mean, so far I really am feeling these cards, especially if you wanna work with your spirit animals. Um, or to see what energy you need to tap into to aid you, whatever the case is. There's several different uses for this deck. Um, I'm really liking this so far. Oh, Crow Spirit, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Dolphin Spirit, Dove Spirit. Oh, that is so beautiful. That is probably the most beautiful Dove card I've seen ever. <laughs> That really touched me there. I think I need to read that dove. And the elephant, beautiful, beautiful. And the fox, the fox, the frog. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do one quick, oh, the hawk spirit, the horse. I'm really, this is, actually this is the reason why I bought this deck. This is the main reason, <laughs> was the hummingbird spirit card because I fell in love with this card. Um, when I saw other people use it, that card got me. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, do a quick one card pull for anyone watching this video. Let's see what message wants to come through here. Um, but so far I'm really liking this deck. It's really, really pretty. Oh wow, the scrab beetle spirit. I didn't know I had a scrab card in here. So if you're connected to like Egyptian times, that, that card will call to you. Nice. Turkey spirit, turtle spirit, vulture spirit, wasp spirit, whale spirit, white raven spirit. Oh, wow. White raven. That's really interesting and unique. Wolf spirit and Wombat Spirit. Okay, let me go ahead and shuffle the cards and see what I feel about that. I have rather large fingers, so I love large Oracle decks. They do not bother me. I know they bother some people, but I don't have a problem with them, and I don't have a problem with this one either. 
So let's see. What's the message you need to hear as the viewer? What is your message right now? Okay, we're going to choose one from this stack here. And let me just go ahead and fan this out. Let's choose one. Okay, this one. One more, one more. Okay. So you've got the mouse spirit and the otter spirit. And the mouse spirit says, tend to the small things. Card number 40. Otter spirit, <laughs> you are never alone. Card number six. Okay, so there's a few things, a few messages here. For some of you, for some of you, you are needing to do little things to reach your goal. Some of you guys have goals here, whether it's in a relationship, whether it's uh, business related, whether it's cleaning your house or getting rid of things. An inch by inch is a cinch. So your advice here is to make sure to tend to the little things and maybe ask for help. Some of you may be getting help in doing so. All right, so overall, I do really like this deck. I think that the images are really pretty, really bright. I would definitely recommend it. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at www.theenchantedone.com. Have an enchanted day.